What are you doing, James? I'm filling out a form. What is it for? It's for a library card. The first part is easy. It asks for my name. Your first name is James. Your last name is Lee. Do you have a middle name? No, I don't. Now I write male or female. Male, of course. Next, I write my address. Your home address or work address? I can use my work address. What's the zip code of the office? Six five eight nine eight. Thanks. And I write my phone number and email address. That's also easy. And I choose married or single. They ask for a lot of information for a library card. Sometimes you have to fill out a form. Most parts of it are easy. You write your first, middle, and last name. You also write your address with your city and zip code. Sometimes you write your country too. Are you a male or a female? Are you married or single? Some forms also ask those things. Forms ask for a lot of information about you. Hello, James 正在填写申请表，因为他要申请图书证。首先呢，要填写名字。名字的栏位中有一个是 middle name。Middle 是中间的意思，所以 middle name 指的是姓和名中间的名字。外国人呢，多半都有 middle name， 但是不常用。表格中呢，还要填性别 ，male 是男性 ，James is a male， 女性是 female。Is your neighbor a male or a female？ 你的邻居是男生还是女生？表格中呢，还要勾选婚姻状态。已婚的就是 married. Terry just got married last month. Terry 上个月才刚结婚。如果是单身未婚的话，就是 single. Are you married or single? 这句话就是问人已婚还是单身。不过呢，在西方呢，就是比较私密的问题，不要随便问哦。What are you doing, James? I'm filling out a form. What is it for? It's for a library card. The first part is easy. It asks for my name. Your first name is James. Your last name is Lee. Do you have a middle name? No, I don't. Now I write male or female. Male, of course. I'm filling out a form. I'm filling out a form. 我正在填写表格。Hey, let's go skating. Not now. I'm filling out a form. <sighs> let's go swimming. Not now. I, I'm filling out a form. <sighs> let's go biking. I can't. I'm filling out a form. What's it for? It's for a credit card. Yay! <laughs> Let's go shopping. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. I'm filling out a form. I'm filling out a form. 我正在填写表格 James 正在填一张表格 Taylor 问他 What is it for? 这些词 for 有为了什么的意思，比如 ，This form is for a library card. 这张表格是为了要申请图书证的。The meat is for the barbecue tomorrow. 这肉是为了明天烤肉餐会用的。所以 Taylor 问的 What is it for? 就是用，就是问它是做什么用的。或者你搬了一个空箱子进来，我说 That's a big box. What is it for? 那箱子好大，是做什么用的？另外，如果你的朋友呢正在织围巾，你想知道他是织给谁的，就可以问 
Who is it for? 这是为谁织的呢？这是介系词 for 的用法。Next, I write my address. Your home address or work address? I can use my work address. What's the zip code of the office? Six five eight nine eight. Thanks. And I write my phone number and email address. That's also easy. And I choose married or single. They ask for a lot of information for a library card. 申请图书证时，表格上居然还要填已婚还是单身。Taylor 说 ，They ask for a lot of information for a library card. 申请图书证要填的资料还真多。我们来学片语 ask for something， 表示要求某样东西。你可以说 ，They came in and asked for some water. 他们进来要一点水喝。They ask. They are asking. For directions, 他们来问路。你也可以用 ask for someone 来表示要求要见某人。比如有人来敲门说要找 Frank. He is asking for Frank. 这些呢是 ask for 的用法。Middle, middle. Wendy is a middle child. Male, male. Jeremy is a male. Female. Female. Whitney is a female. Married. Married. The sisters are all married. Single. Single. Jeff is still single. What are you doing, James? I'm filling out a form. What is it for? It's for a library card. The first part is easy. It asks for my name. Your first name is James. Your last name is Lee. Do you have a middle name? No, I don't. Now I write male or female. Male, of course. Next, I write my address. Your home address or work address? I can use my work address. What's the zip code of the office? Six five eight nine eight. Thanks, and I write my phone number and email address. That's also easy. And. I choose married or single. They ask for a lot of information for a library card. Look what I have, Ginger! Ooh, <laughs> a new credit card! Hey, let's go shopping! No, this isn't a credit card. It's a library card. Too bad. Now I can borrow books and videos for free. Free? Hey, I want a library card too. How do I get one? It's easy. Just fill out a form. Uh oh. What goes on the form? Your name and address. Don't forget your zip code. Okay. So what else? Uh, your phone number and email address. Oh. Whew. Okay. And if you're married or single. Hey, that's a lot of information. Yes, it is. But I'll help you fill out the form. Then you can have a library card. Nah, that's okay. I'll just borrow your card. <laughs> hey. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no. Damien, guess what song I have stuck in my head? Oh, I know. You are my sunshine,、uh, my lonely sun. No, 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 not that one. But nice try. It's one of Kubakuro's songs from the concert. <gasps> They're so good. They are. Oh, hey, by the way, did you do well on that test the next day? Uh, not very.
very well. Yeah, I didn't do very well either. Well, I did do well on the first part of the test. That was a super sentence. Oh, uh, hi again, super sentence man. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lynn just used today's super sentence, the first part. She said, "I did do well on the first part、uh, of the test." Well, I was. Kind of joking. Well, maybe but... you were, but that was a super sentence. Can you give it to me in another way?、Uh, sure. Uh, I liked the movie, but the first part was too slow. I liked the movie, but the first part was too slow. Good. Do you have another, Lynn? Just for fun. Okay. The first part of the concert was amazing. The first part of the concert was amazing. Super. Remember, well, say it with me. A, A super, super sentence, sentence every day, day will make, make your English, English great. great. So, how did you do on your tests the day after the concert? <sighs> I, I think I was too tired. Oh. Yeah, and I. Did well on the first part. Oh, the first part.、Mm-hmm. What, what part was that? The part where I had to write my name at the top. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Did you get your name right? <laughs> I guess I might have misspelled it. I was so tired. I think I wrote her name.